What do you say, Dave? One last time? Oh, yeah. What's cooking, everybody? Dave Mays here with... Zach Mayfield. And it is true. I am hosting Indie Mogul with Ted Sim, which means that this guy, Zach Mayfield, is the new host of Kinotika. Let's talk about it. Today is actually really special because not only am I passing the torch to Zach, but the day that we're uploading this video, August 14th, is actually my 30th birthday. Happy birthday. Oh. Kind of old, but happy birthday. <laughs> so let's make one thing clear, guys. I am not leaving YouTube by any means. I am going to Indie Mogul and will become one of the hosts on the channel focused on gear reviews and other filmmaking tutorials and things like that. So if you're watching this video right now and you haven't watched the past three videos, we'll link all those in the description and in the in card and the eye icon and stuff. Go check out all the content we've done with Zach. Go watch his personal channel. I promise you're in good hands. Again, I am not going away. I'm not dying by any means. So don't be so sad. This is very exciting for me, for my family personally. And it's really exciting for Zach as well. And I think you're gonna love what this guy is going to be cooking up for you guys <laughs> on Kinotika. Zach, tell me what was it like when I called you and said, would you like to be the host of Kinotika? <laughs> Dude, I don't, like, honestly, it's starting to feel real, like, right now as we're talking about it. And it's been a dream of mine to do YouTube in a full-time setting for years now. I've been involved in the film industry doing freelance and music videos. I did weddings for a while. I've done commercials. But I've always just had a passion for YouTube. Yeah. And you were, like, the first real YouTuber I've, I've ever met. So <laughs> it's crazy just, like, the how it's all transitioned from, like, us first meeting to yeah. making videos together and now me becoming a part of the legacy of Kino Tika. I'm <laughs> yeah. just, I'm really excited, man. I'm very thankful. Cool. And it's fun to sit here in the sand where kind of it all started with Kino Tika moving to California, but Zach is bringing it home, boys. He's bringing <laughs> it back to Nashville, Tennessee, <laughs> where the Kino Tika channel originated. It yeah. was created in Nashville. So you're going to be seeing that whole aesthetic in that world over there. But my plan isn't to come into this channel and completely abolish and change everything that you guys have started because I love what you guys have done my plan is just to add to it as best as I can so I don't want to just destroy everything or anything like that I just want to keep the tradition going making fun camera content where it's also educational mm -hmm. that's my passion I think it also works really well because we have already similar styles yeah like we have a similar sense of humor we're both morons <laughs> we both like yeah. weird editing yeah. and we both like cameras if you guys saw the gear guy video by the way this guy is the dancer uh, in the <laughs> like paper background uh, set thing awkward and uh, Zach background. also shot the majority of that music video as well all the stuff at the beach all the stuff on the tricycle uh, everything in my garage <laughs> with the exception of some of the gear stuff that Jake obviously uh, helped me with because he is at the beginning of the video. Represent Jack, Jake Bernal. Love you, Jake. What are like some of the most fun memories that you have working on the channel? Uh, I think it all goes back to one of the first videos I made with Connor. They got no views. <laughs> Even to this day, it still didn't perform very well. But it's a GoPro, uh, top 10 ways to use GoPro video. Okay. It really showed me that I can really be creative in this space. I don't have to just follow the rules and like only do reviews a certain way. Another video that really stands out to me and memory that I had is going to NAB in 2018 when the Blackmagic 4K was announced, the pocket. <laughs> yeah. Um, I remember hearing rumors about it. Me and Connor were at Vegas in NAB and I told Connor, I'm like, we're waking up at 6 a.m. We're gonna be first in line. <laughs> like they opened- You made it. so many videos there too. <laughs> yeah, you guys we are did. on it. What are some of your plans? What do you, what's, what's the first vid? Ooh, let's see. I think the first vid I'm gonna do by myself is gonna be this massive in-depth X-T4 review. Yes. I've had the camera since it came out. I've done a ton of client work on it. Uh-huh and just a ton of YouTube content. So I have all this footage stored up. And that's another thing I'm stoked about with doing with this channel is I can bring these cameras and this gear yeah. into a professional environment as yes. well with like the client work that I do and stuff like that. And it's just gonna be cool to like continue to add to what Kinotika has already built. Absolutely. Yeah. The name is still Kinotika. The logo is still there. I think you were even talking about wanting to bring back the old theme song. Yes, I love the original <laughs> intro, just the K that like melts out with <laughs> yeah. that beat. I've yeah. always loved that. <laughs> he loves it's it. Such a good intro. So uh, I think 
we're really in great hands here with Zach. He's gonna continue his personal channel as well, so you can maybe see some behind the scenes and vlog yeah. stuff as well. Yeah, my plan is to do one absolute banger of a filmmaking video on Kinotika every single week, and then probably about two videos on my personal channel that'll be more BTS stuff, just like kind of taking you into the world of the creative process with YouTube and with some of the client work that I do. And if you guys wanna learn more about Zach, my interview with him is probably live on the Golden Hour podcast right now as well. So uh, if not now, it'll be live on Tuesday because we do post every single Tuesday. So definitely go check out the Golden Hour podcast, uh, the Polar Pro show that I host. This is a really exciting thing. I think he's going to crush it Give him a chance if you haven't already seen his work and loved him. I promise you're gonna love him. He's so great. So enjoy Kinotika with Zach. He's gonna do things that I could never do before. So I am so excited to watch his journey. And again, I'm not dying. I'm just going to be working with Ted on Indie Mogul and it's really exciting. It's gonna be great content there too. So go subscribe to Indie Mogul if you haven't already. I'm so excited for Zach and I'm so excited to see what happens with Kinotika in the future with this incredible leader who's going to crush it on this channel. So if you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? Subscribe, Subscribe. right now. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Say hello. <laughs> Say hello to Zach. Welcome what Zach. Up? Welcome him with your comments Hi, and I likes. Love you. With that in mind, for the last time, I'm Dave Mays. And I'm Zach Mayfield. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Cool. Cool. And then we can.